In this video, I'm going to be doing a DIY extension cord build for the off-grid workshop. This is not a how-to video. This is going to be a, a video just showing you what I'm doing. But it's going to be a quad box extension cord. And I'm building it out of an old, broken uh, electric car charger. This was donated by my neighbor who was throwing it away. We're just going to send it to the landfill. And I said, hey, I'll, I think I can use that for something. I do not own an electric vehicle, so I don't, I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about these. Other than some of my research, I've noticed there are tons of videos on YouTube about broken electric car chargers. So keep your eye out. I have a feeling that you're going to see a lot of these getting tossed out into the trash. He was throwing it out. I took it and I'm going to make something useful out of it. 21 feet, which is pretty decent. It's like a 21 foot extension cord, which in this case is going to be the perfect length to reach anywhere within my uh, DI off-grid workshop. So I've got this broken electric car charger. Cost was free. I went and bought a four and a half inch work box at my local hardware store. I'll leave some links for this stuff if you're curious in the description. You want to build one of these for yourself. Again, let me remind you, I'm not an electrician and this is not a how-to video. This is just to show you what I'm going to do. And then I've got two duplex outlets. These are 15 amp duplex outlets. And uh, I think they'll be perfect for this build. I'm going to cut this cord off of the actual charger here and kind of look and see what, what size wires and how many wires are in here. A normal extension cord usually have three wires, a ground, a hot, and a neutral. I think there's probably four or six wires inside here is my guess. We'll see. We'll see when I cut it open. DIY quad box extension cord. I'm just going to use a pair of sheet metal cutters here to try to cut this cord off of here as close as I can get it. Four wires. That might be 12 gauge. That's pretty thick. A little thicker than I expected. Cut this other end off of here. So this might be good for a 20 amp extension cord. I'll measure a piece of that wire and double check it. Okay, for starters with this four and a half inch work box, I picked the uh, knockout that I want to knock out of there. And this is pretty simple, easy to do. I'm just going to take a screwdriver. You can take a pair of pliers or something. Hit that. bust it loose like this here and then just take a pair of pliers bend it back and forth a couple of times and it'll pull that knockout right out of there and then I've got a, a strain relief here that I'm going to install in that area this will clamp down on the incoming wire keep it from pulling on the connections inside And that's where my wire will come into the work box or the quad box extension cord. Next, I just want to strip back enough of this insulation so I've got enough to uh, enter the box. And I did do a full video in detail on how to wire a double duplex outlet. If you're curious to see how I did that, I'm just going to wire this up off camera and then I'll show you the box once I get it done. If you're interested in seeing how I did that, I'll, I'll link that video in the description. So there we go, a 21 foot DIY quad box extension cord built from a broken electric car charger. The cost was less than $10 total. I already had the two double duplex outlets, got the uh, broken electric car charger for free, and all I did was buy this uh, four and a half inch work box. A couple things to mention about one of these quad box type extension cords. I determined that the wiring inside this broken electric car charger is 12 gauge wire, so this is good for 20 amps. So really 20 amps total, and that includes all four outlets. This is like the ideal setup if you're gonna be doing, maybe uh, you're using an electric drill that'll plug in here, and then you wanna use an electric grinder, 
you're not going to really be using those tools all at the same time but you don't have to plug and unplug into a single socket just like you would have on a regular extension cord. But this should be ideal setup for the off-grid workshop project. I figured I would just splice in the end. I cut this off of the charger. It was about a six inch piece on there. I just cut that off, solder spliced it together and covered it all with electrical tape. It doesn't look the most beautiful, but this is great for a little workshop. And that way I didn't even have to buy a plug-in for it. I just used the one that came on the charger. Now I will get a little extra resistance through those solder joints, but that's fine. That's not going to affect the work that I'm going to use this for. And I figured I would just put this on here and plug it in. And that way I can use it in other locations if the need arises. But it's pretty heavy duty. Box is grounded. And as long as your outlet is grounded that you're plugged into, you'll be in good shape. These two parts will go to the trash, and I've got a fairly expensive extension cord for like 10 bucks. Click the video on the screen now for a detailed video on how to wire a double duplex outlet, and we'll see you there.